Hey there interwebs, I'm Adam, that's Corwin, this is Handbasket Gaming, and we are way behind on question answers, so we're just going to do... We're doing a bunch lots of, them. of them. Lots, lots of them. This is, lots. This is going to be a long video of questions. Yeah. So go ahead and get yourself comfortable, read a... No, don't read a magazine, yeah. watch watch this. Take off your pants. Um, Get get comfortable. Shit on the floor. Get, get swifty. Get, get, yeah. get swifty in here. So, first question is our first traumatic memory. Uh, mine was when our family cat Spike died when I was like six or so, I think. And it, uh, it, was, it was pretty sad. Uh, first traumatic memory for me was, in fact, stone steps. I fell down a flight of stone steps at the very tender young age of like four, tore my head up so bad. That's why my face looks like this. Um, but actually, I've got a permanent scar right here in the center of my forehead I've had my whole life because uh, they could see my skull when I got into the uh, emergency room. It was pretty, uh, pretty wild. I've never heard that story. We asked you what our favorite scented marker is. Mine was the light blue. I think it was supposed to be like raspberry or something. So it turns out Sharpie isn't actually a scented marker, but man, that stuff right there, the original black flavor, magnum size. Favorite cold climate animal? Uh, mine was a polar bear. <laughs> because... <love>. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> because my wife has a particular way that she says polar bear that cracks me up every time because she's imitating a documentary we watched once, and I can't recreate it, but it's it's very funny. We'll, we'll see if she someday might be willing to get a clip. I'll ask. I'll fail. Walrus. That's mine. <laughs> Walrus. I, I fell in love with the pictures of the walrus in his bucket, but uh, I also just love walruses in general. I think they're really cool My animals. Bucket. Uh, we asked you what our favorite Predator movies were. Uh, mine is numero one. Oh, the, mine is the first one I saw, which was Predator Two. You saw Predator Two before you saw Predator. 1? I didn't even realize it was Predator. I just saw those like naked skinless so i guess super naked dudes hanging from the ceiling <laughs> extra and naked they were so naked quadruple x and uh <laughs> uh was it danny glover yes it was danny yeah, glover danny glover just kicking ass and taking names it was pretty cool yep uh we asked you how many panels are in not this room because we're not in the basket right now but we asked you how many soundproofing panels are in the basket final count after we put all of them up 397 uh, shout out to Dean for being technically correct for saying at least 12. Yeah. Uh, we asked you what our first vacation was. At least was. 12. Yep, he's not wrong. No, he's not. Mine was Orlando, Florida, uh, when I was like six months old. I was super young, and we went to uh, Disney. Mine was South Dakota with my fiance and her family. It was awesome. Uh, we asked you what we wanted to be when we were growing up. I desperately wanted to be an inventor because of various science fiction films that I had seen. I desperately wanted to be a stand-up comedian because of Dennis Leary and other comedians that I watched at a far too young age. Nice. I kind of knew where life was going. Mm -hmm. uh, we asked you what our fantasy paintball location would be. Uh, I would absolutely love to play paintball in the Tower of London because it's a fortress and that's amazing. That's pretty cool, but I'm from Cleveland, and we got a thing called Pride, and we're pretty proud of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is a place that we have, and I want to shoot paintballs in there. Uh, we asked you guys what our first binge game was, the first game that we spent you know, tons and tons of time playing. Uh, mine was Quest for Glory 3. I was obsessed with StarCraft. It was the coolest game I'd ever seen. It still looked really freaking cool. Yup. Uh, we asked you what kind of TV show we would be in. I would definitely be in a detective show, again, because of I'm a nerd and, you know, Sherlock Holmes. And Go, Corwin. And my answer is uh, I'd be in a sitcom because of all the wacky situations I find myself in. Find yourself in or find, put yourself in? I put in. myself straight in the middle of them and I find out that I am there after I've done it. This makes sense to me. <laughs> Uh, we asked you what the first movie was that made us cry. Mine was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, because when the, uh, when the aunt, auntie, dies, I, I, I wept. I wept hard. Uh, I remember back when there were only 12 channels on my mom's little TV in the little apartment we lived in, and on one of the channels one day was Roots. And I watched that mistakenly, and uh, I was scarred. He answered this question earlier. I thought he was fucking with me, but nope. He, nope. We asked you what our favorite cereal is. Uh, mine is Chocolate Lucky Charms, which are amazing. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because it's the only real cereal. 
And shout out to Fiber Optic for getting that one right for Corwin, but wrong for me, which is funny. Good job, Fiby. Uh, we asked you who our first crush was, uh, real or fictional, and mine was absolutely Gadget from uh, from Rescue Rangers, the the mouse and get on that mousey Gadget. You know what I'm saying? She wore a jumpsuit and was. Who's yeah. yours, Corwin? <laughs> I, uh, I I realized that I had to answer this question later on, and the answer is definitely when I was like five. Uh, and My Little Pony. It was a My Little Pony. I don't know which one, but she was purple. And, uh, man, she had it going on. She had black hair. She took showers. What? All right, well, that's all I got on that topic. Moving on. Next question. Uh, we asked you what our favorite uh, Dr. Seuss thing was. Uh, we agree on this one. We both love the Lorax. We asked you what our favorite nostalgia candy was. And, again, we agree on Gushers. Yeah, Gushers. We asked you what our favorite board game is currently. Mine is Betrayal at House on the Hill. Uh, if you haven't played it, you should. And mine is Arkham Horror. It's an outstanding group versus board game. Uh, we asked you what our favorite childhood fantasy game was. Uh, shout out to Fiber Optic for getting this one right for me. Uh, it was a game called Hero Quest. It was kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but with a board. And my dad would DM for us. So fun times. So uh, the best, closest name I can give to this game was Apocalypse Survivor, where me and my friends uh, using toy guns would hang around the playground and pretend like the world had been destroyed, and we were one of the few survivors, so we would just pretend and uh, we'd fight monsters and zombies that we used with our imagination to create. Hmm. Then we had the internet and we lost all that. <laughs> to which of the two main guys in Wayne's World we would be, uh, and we agreed on this one because we're both big nerds, we would absolutely be Garth. Both definitely Garth. Yep. Party on Wayne. Party on Wayne. Wayne. We don't have a Wayne. We asked you what our uh, epic death fantasy would be. Uh, I don't have like specifics on it, but I absolutely know that I would be sacrificing myself to save my friends and family, Corwin included. Oh, yeah, I'm going to survive when he dies. So, um, mine. <laughs> Is get this, all right? So I'm in a giant like mech suit, like from BattleTech or something cool like that. I got four PPC cannons on this arm right here, and I've got a collaboration of different long-range missiles for to soften them up so they get close enough for the bunch. Anyway, the enemy troops, and by troops I mean it, like giant robots, are also coming my way, and it's just I'm one of the last few left, and everyone else is in the vans, and they got to get out of there, and I'm like. I'm going to hold them as long as I can. And then I turn, and that's when, like, the, the power metal music that I'm listening to at the point in time starts playing really heavy, and I blast them to pieces. Just ba-bam, ba-bam, ba-bam. This is sign language for PPC uh, Canon. Bam. You done? Yeah, done now. Okay. <laughs> we asked you what the worst thing we had ever done to one of our siblings was, and I once, when he was, like, five, I think... I punched my little brother in the face, and there was a build-up to it, but I, it's indefensible. Corwin? I punched Adam's brother in the face. No, I didn't. That didn't happen. Um, actually, once I hid underneath my little brother's bed, and when, uh, after Mom had left, and he decided to go up to get some water from his dresser, I reached out and grabbed his ankle. So let me go ahead, and uh, after I scared the living hell out of him so bad, he, he didn't even scream. He started crying, which is a logical thing to do. Hey, Nick. I'm really sorry, and I know you're watching this video. He, I love you. He told me before the video that he wasn't really sorry that he was going to be lying to you just then. Just FYI. Nick, I'm... Can't believe a word he says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we asked you what our favorite Joss Whedon anything was. Uh, we absolutely agree on Firefly, because you can't take the sky from me. You can't take the sky from him. Take it from you. I traded my sky, my sky away for a biscuit. We asked you when we lost our uh, our virginity. Uh, our virginity. Our When we lost it together. I was 17 years old, and Corwin was... I was 16. Roughly the same age as you were. Actually, I was 17 when you were 16, because I'm a... Right. We asked you what movie we're looking forward to most this year, and it is absolutely Star Wars yeah. Episode Eight. Jesus. Uh, we asked you what our secret fandom was. Uh, it's not really a secret for me, but it doesn't really come up all that often. I absolutely love everything, anything and everything Aaron Sorkin has ever done. He's brilliant. He's really good. 
Um, my secret fandom is I really like the World of Warcraft lore. I, uh, I just think it's really cool, and I don't uh, advertise it because I like pretend like I'm too cool for a while, but I'm not too cool for a while. We asked you what our favorite pizzas are. Uh, mine is pineapple and pepperoni. Corwin's is... Chicago-style pizza, sausage, and pepperoni. Yeah. So that's all we got for you this time, and looks like we're going to be very busy for the next several weeks, so odds are we're going to get way behind again and do another one of these giant videos, because we're idiots and we can't keep up with a simple... Yeah. Who, who does schedules? Yeah, we don't do schedules. We don't do schedules. We do schedules. We release we, it. Well, we schedule schedules, but we don't schedule the scheduling. Right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Fare thee well, calm travelers.